Imagine noticing a small irritated patch on your lower leg. At first, it looks like a minor scratch, nothing serious. But instead of healing in a few days, it gets worse. The skin breaks open, revealing a raw wound that just won't close. Weeks pass, then months. It seeps fluid, itches, burns, and no matter what you do, bandages, ointments, and even prescription creams, it refuses to heal. My name is Dr. Voltaire, a wound care physician, and today we're breaking down what I've learned from treating hundreds of venous ulcers, what they are, why they happen, and most importantly, how to treat them effectively before they spiral into life-altering complications. These wounds affect millions of people, but they're often ignored until they become a serious problem. Many people walk around with swelling, aching, and skin changes for years before they realize they have chronic venous insufficiency, the underlying cause of these ulcers. So what are venous ulcers? Venous ulcers are chronic, slow healing wounds that usually develop on the lower legs, above the ankle, but below the knee. They happen when veins in the legs stop working properly, leading to poor circulation and excess fluid leaking into the skin. This sets off inflammation, skin damage, and eventually an open wound. So here's how it happens. Your veins have one-way valves that help pump blood back towards the heart. When these valves become weak or damaged, blood starts pooling in your legs instead of flowing upward. This extra fluid puts pressure on the skin, causing it to become thin, inflamed, and prone to breaking open. Once a wound forms, it struggles to heal because of poor circulation and ongoing inflammation. Venous ulcers have a few telltale signs that set them apart from other wounds. Here's what you might notice. They're typically on the inside of the lower leg or around the ankle. The wound itself is shallow with irregular edges and is often covered in yellow sloth or red granulation tissue. These ulcers also tend to leak a lot of fluid because the body is trying to get rid of the excess fluid trapped in the leg. The skin around the ulcer may be brownish or discolored, dry, itchy, and thickened. This is a sign of chronic venous insufficiency. Also, unlike arterial ulcers, which are extremely painful, venous ulcers tend to be more uncomfortable than painful, with aching, heaviness, and swelling in the leg. So who's at risk for venous ulcers? Venous ulcers don't just happen overnight. They are the end result of years, sometimes decades, of vein problems. The biggest risk factors include chronic venous insufficiency, the number one cause. Also, as we get older, our veins lose elasticity and function less efficiently. Obesity. Extra weight puts more pressure on leg veins, making them work harder. Also, a history of blood clots. So a past deep vein thrombosis can damage veins permanently. Also, standing or sitting for long periods. Jobs that require long hours on your feet. So nurses, teachers, retail workers increase the risk of venous disease. Leg injuries or surgeries. Any trauma to the veins, like a broken bone or past surgery, can increase the likelihood of ulcers. If you've had swollen legs, varicose veins, or leg pain that gets worse when standing, but better when elevating your legs, you might already have chronic venous insufficiency, putting you at increased risk for these ulcers. So why do these ulcers take so long to heal? Unlike minor cuts or scrapes, venous ulcers are stuck in a cycle of poor healing. Here's why. Lack of oxygen and nutrients. Healthy blood flow brings oxygen and healing cells to wounds. So without it, healing slows to a crawl. Also too much inflammation. Venous ulcers stay inflamed for too long, damaging the surrounding skin and preventing new tissue from forming. There can also be too much moisture. Unlike dry wounds, venous ulcers leak a lot of fluid, which can macerate the surrounding skin and make the wound bigger. Also, biofilm and infection may be a cause. Many venous ulcers develop biofilms, which is a layer of bacteria that acts like a shield, making the wound resistant to treatment. This is why just applying a bandage won't work. These ulcers need a structured treatment plan that includes compression therapy, proper wound care, and treatment of the underlying vein problem. The good news is that venous ulcers can heal, but only with the right approach. Here's what that looks like. Compression therapy is the gold standard therapy. If you only take away one thing from this video, let it be this. Compression therapy is the single most important treatment for venous ulcers. Compression therapy helps by improving circulation, pushing blood back towards the heart, reducing swelling and preventing fluid from pooling in the legs, helping the ulcer heal faster by reducing pressure on the skin. Compression can come in many different forms. You have medical grade compression stockings, which is best for prevention. You have compression wraps or bandages used for active ulcers. There are also compression pumps for people with severe swelling as well. But here's the key. You have to wear compression consistently for it to work. Without it, venous ulcers will keep coming back. Proper wound care helps prevent infection
nutrition and promotes healing. Treatment includes cleansing with a saline or a wound cleanser to remove debris and bacteria from the wound, using dressings that absorb excess fluid while keeping the wound moist, debridement to remove dead tissue and biofilm and allowing new tissue to form, antimicrobial dressings if there are concerns for a developing infection. If the underlying vein disease isn't addressed, the ulcer will come back. So additional treatments might include vein ablation procedures, which are laser or radiofrequency treatment to close damaged veins, sclerotherapy, which are injections to shrink varicose veins, and surgical vein removal in severe cases. There are also lifestyle changes to prevent recurrence. Even after a venous ulcer heals, you have to stay on top of prevention to keep it from coming back. This means, again, wearing compression stockings daily, also elevating your legs when sitting, and staying active and walking regularly. Also, avoiding long periods of standing or sitting. When should you see a doctor? If you have a wound on your leg that isn't healing, don't wait. Early treatment makes a huge difference. If you notice swelling, pain, or heaviness in your legs, brown, or dark discoloration around the ankles, also known as hemosiderin deposits, a wound that leaks fluid and won't heal after two to three weeks, it's time to see a wound care specialist or a vascular doctor. Venous ulcers are treatable, but they require the right approach compression, wound care, and addressing the underlying vein problem. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, check out my next video on compression therapy, how it works, why it's the key to healing, and how to use it correctly. Stay informed and heal well.